I would ask people to recognize the connection between Hamilton and Nevis, the place where he was born. I don't know whether the word Nevis is mentioned in the musical. It's not. But that's unfortunate. Because if that word had been mentioned, that would have sparked interest in finding out where is Nevis. Welcome to the Nevis Historical and Conservation Society along with the Alexander Hamilton Museum. Now this entire property once belonged to Alexander Hamilton's family. How does a bastard orphan son of a whore and a Scotsman dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean by The story about Hamilton's mom touched me because she's, been, she's being perceived as a prostitute and a whore and that was not the case. Hamilton's mom was previously married. Her ex-husband, he did not take care of, her, of his family's responsibilities. He was sort of a deadbeat. So Rachel left him. And when Rachel left him, he became bitter. He even had her imprisoned. And whatever he did in those um, divorce papers prevented her from legally being married to anybody. She had already met Hamilton's dad. So because she could not be remarried, she had illegitimate children from Hamilton's dad. I think Alexander Hamilton, a lot of things that he saw as a child helped to shape him as an adult because his family actually owned slaves here. Nevis was at one time the head of what we call the Royal African Company. So all of the slaves to be sold in the Leeward Islands were landed in Nevis, just up the street there. Slave traders were from Britain primarily, and they went to Africa to collect slaves. Some went to the United States, some came to the Caribbean. So it's all one story. So the, the American experience is not an isolated experience. Nevis for me represents the Caribbean of a bygone era. It's, it's the Caribbean as it was meant to be. When development comes sometimes, everybody wants that modern new thing. And many of the islands, the Caribbean islands, their towns have become, it looks like you're in uh, South Beach, Miami. It's very modern construction. People are proud of it, but it's, it's not so much what we, we have, I think it's what we don't have. <laughs> the simplicity way of life. We have seen many Americans who are shocked to find, like they don't know that there's a place called St. Kitts Nevis, or they don't know there's a place called Martinique or Guadeloupe. Nevis has a very small population, just about 12,000 people, who are very hospitable, very warm, very friendly, very helpful, and we take pride in our island space, and we try to encourage persons to visit as often as they can. Because as we say on Nevis, you're only a stranger here once. 